Alright, hello, welcome to my Religious Life video blog. And you know why, because as because as you know, <laughs> I did vid my political life video blog at, Z uh, at not Z oh yes, Starbucks. Because, you know, everybody's trying to pay attention, you know what it's all about. So now, I'm at Zozo Coffee House, get ready to do my Religious Life video blog and take it from there. Trust me about that. Anyway, it's going to be second Sunday of Easter, and um, and it's going to be cool. Trust me about that. And then you know I found it something strange about, about this one? Because Doubting Th Thomas. Because Thomas is one called the twin. About, you know who, one of the twelve. And I don't know what Thomas feels like it, but who knows. Anyways, uh, John chapter 20, verse... Verses in the verses 19 through 30, 31. So that is, you guessed it. When, when it, uh, when it, uh, you know, when it was evening on that day, the first week, first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were, were locked for fear of the Jews, and Jesus came with a came with you, you came and stood among them and said peace be with you after he said said this he showed them his hands and his side and then the disciples rejoiced and when uh, rejoiced when they saw the lord jesus said again peace be with you as the father has sent me so i sent so, so i send you when he had said this, he breathed, breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgive them, forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now, Thomas, now on verse 24, but you know who, but Thomas who was called the twin. You, you, you know what that means. One of the twelve was not with them. When Jesus came, came and so the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the marks of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and hands in his side. I will not believe. Uh oh. Really? Then a week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was, was with them, although the doors were shut, and Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. And see my hands and hands reach out your hand and put it in my side. Doubt, uh, you should, should we say, do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. Jesus, and Jesus said to him, have you not, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet had, have come to believe. Now Jesus didn't, did many signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, that that through believing you may have life in his name so um so so here's this is <laughs> this is why uh the um, mother pike you know yeah diane pike mother mother diane pike and uh you know goes to saint andrews she she does a huge sermon, sermon about 
God Doubting Thomas. Uh, so you, she did a sermon this morning at, at my at my church, and um, and all and and you know that Mother Pike was wa watching the Food Channel. The, uh, it looks like yes, the Food Network, and she said, um, I think the one of her favorite shows is Chopped. <laughs> And I cannot believe my eyes and ears. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's gonna be... It's gonna be outrageous. And you know why she's talking about uh, Doubting Thomas? As far as we're concerned on... Um, huh, uh, John chapter 20 verse, verses uh, 24 to 29. Because Jesus... Because, Jesus said, try to appear to Thomas. Now, John tell us, tells us that Thomas has not been the present on, on the first day of the resurrection. And disciples tell, tell him that they have seen the Lord. Well, guess what? Uh, well, Thomas doesn't believe that. Well, everybody knows could be a perhaps inside, inside, inside a, you know who, only a ghost. But in fact, Luke tells us on verse twenty, chapter twenty-four, verse thirty-seven says that um, uh, that you guessed it. Is that uh oh uh, yes. That um. Uh, tells us that it just between a meeting with Jesus and the disciples. And that's why at which the disciples think they are seeing a ghost. Well, everybody knows sees a Casper the friendly ghost, whatever it is. Trust me about that. So here's here's the thing. Everybody is so convinced that he is not a ghost. Jesus invites them to touch him and he eats a piece of broiled fish. Just, just to uh, clarify here, just for the if information, if Thomas is simply saying that he needs to see the same evidence that they have seen. Well, guess what? Here's your evidence, all right? Because you touch the wounds, according to John's description, is a quite dramatic. And you want to shove his hand into Jesus' side? Well, guess what? The assumption that the disciples had told you, Thomas, about the about Jesus' wounds, and so they have taken taken your statement as the evidence that Jesus Jesus' wounds are largely enough for for one of the, one of them because to put one's hand in and that it's it that it wasn't. Uh, wasn't closed over. Guess what? The more likely Thomas is, is being so dramatic as he was earlier in the gospel. And similarly, the, you know, the language, language that everybody uses when he says that he will not believe is very empathetic. Like, well, guess what? You now know that a week later, because you, this is why, because everybody knows, later, because everybody knows that uh, disciples, including Thomas, were locked, locked inside this room. And Jesus appearances on on a Sundays like this came along with the timing of resurrection itself and could try to contribute the church's making primary day of worship and that's why everybody knows about this one well I guess you all know by now 
that the author of Jesus, Jesus' resurrection, quote this, why we have, why we spent eight, the eighth day in the celebration on that, on that day which Jesus just born, you know what I mean, born and he has rose from the dead. And after appearing, he ascended into heaven. Just remember the Nicene Creed, as I said last week on um on my religious life video blog last Sunday. And that is why faith is throughout the gospel. But who knows? And give me one of the reasons why I try to why because Thomas just tried to move on with his life of faith to stop doubting and believe and um, and guess what guess what Thomas touches um, you guessed it thing finger uh, touch touch his hands and his side and that's why the confession of Jesus as my Lord and my God is a, another climax in this holy gospel. Gospel and now, and you wonder why? Because you, Thomas, you just had to accept this with the revelation and you get no com com commendation from Jesus. And rather, Jesus look looks ahead to those who will believe through the blessed blessedness of, of this disciples who have who have seen and why because blessed are those who have seen and yet to believe uh. Uh. and now it can't be done. So that is why Jesus looks ahead and look at Thomas says, says this, have you come to believe because you have se seen me? Well, guess what? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet to, yet to, yet come to believe and that is why because you know it could be a spiritual gospel such as Clement of Aunt Alexandria and Andrea says that um, it is not it is, it is not so not of the sense Sense and being non material, a historical in the John, for in John there is no sharp dichotomy between spirit and matter. Throughout the Gospels are not confused with one another. And you see everything else in the civilized. And you see my, let's see, oh, so you see my, oh yes. The, you see the, that means the moral of my religious life video blog story is this. Because everything else could be civilized about Thomas's confession was such a judgment and now Jesus challenged all who had a huge venture of judgment upon his, you guessed it, you guessed it, judgment upon history and that is upon his presence and just before through the spirit of this particular community community and those the life have 
Evet. So, why not do that? Because Peter later, everybody has described such believers. And I quote this from Peter, chapter, First uh, Peter chapter one, says that those you have not seen him, love you love him, and even though do not see him, now you know. Uh, see him now, you believe in him, and believe, and and are filled with expression expressible. On on the glorious joy, and for you, are receiving the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. And finally, don't you know that First Corinthians, Corinthians chapter six, verse verses twenty and of no verses nineteen and twenty says, or do you not know that that there are, that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own. For you, think about this. Just a, just a, just just for a word of advice, you were brought at a price, and that's why. Therefore, on this second Sunday of Easter, glorify your God with your body from now on. And that's my religious life story and I'm sticking to it.